So I just brought you into one of my memories. I was living in Kuwait when I was 23 years old, and I used to run along the Corniche to the Kuwait Towers and back, listening to No Doubt, I'm Just a Girl, and there was a bit of taste of irony in her lyrics of I'm Just a Girl, yet she's this really strong punk rocker, and there was a taste of irony in the sense that I'm this female from the United States, and I'm running in a country where women are really pushed down low, low second class. And it also made me question, well, how much power did I even have? And so that's kind of where a lot of this started in my mind. You're gonna hear me use the words boys, girls, females, males today in my talk. And I want you to know that I do not use the traditional boxes for that. That gender has uh, personality and characteristics and nonconformity, and I invite you to be very open with those terms. So my kids are in second and third grade here at Colegio Nueva Granada, and they said to me, Mama, we saw your face on a poster, you're famous. And I was so excited, I had to run to campus and see it. And I looked at the title, my title, this title, kind of for the first time from a distance. And I, I was a little worried. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be speaking to teenagers, and they're going to see lose it. You have to lose it first. And I'm so scared they're going to think, just lose your virginity, and then we're all going to be equal. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so I, I wish I had changed that. And I am going to change that in the future. But what I meant by lose it was really talking to the females about losing that really mean inner dialogue we sometimes have when we look in the mirror, and therefore also losing kind of the cut downs and put downs we give to other females. So this was my essential question. Do women more than men hold their core self value in their perception of their bodies and looks? And if yes, does that impact gender inequality? And the answers are, I, I don't know. And this is really a conversation starter that I hope that you'll see me after the chat or the middle school and high school counselors all have my email. I'd like to know what you think. I'm gonna share what I see and feel I believe it does impact, but I, I don't have a final answer on that. And I believe that you're a much better generation than my generation. And so maybe it feels a lot different for you guys. So I really want to hear from you. So the Global Gender Report studies the inequalities around the world, and that some countries are doing better than others. Um, but globally, they say, we've reached our goals 68%. So if 100% is 100% gender equality, we're only 68% there. And then by their projections, they say it'll take 170 years for global gender equality, which is way too long. And again, the reason why I'm talking to you is you are the future. I'm hoping you're gonna speed that up big time. Um, the Global Gender Report looks at health, education, economics, and politics. And I'm just wondering if there's another piece that we could look at. So there are definitely systemic problems out there of why men and women globally aren't equal. And so we could look to the outside and say, well, this is what might be wrong. But I'm going to ask us to look to the inside. And when sometimes I feel like I can't change things in my outer world, I need to ask myself, well, what could I do to change the inside? So this is what I see, just me personally, growing up and having about 20 years now in education as a teacher and a counselor. <clears throat> so I do see that there are inequalities, but I see it I see equalities becoming much better than they were when I was a teenager. And what I want to take off the table is beautifying. 
There's nothing wrong with wanting to look beautiful, so I'm not talking about that. And in fact, I think that there's just as many girls and boys that stand in front of the mirror for an hour before school starts, as there's just as many boys and girls that are like, I don't care how I look. And the fact that we might go to the gym to feel good about ourselves, and the fact that we pick clothes to look good, or do our hair, all that is great. There's nothing wrong with that, and I think it's equal across genders. Um, and I'm also not talking about self-esteem. A lot of research still shows that men and women have equal self-esteem. And there's just as many women that are confident as there are men. Um, so I'm taking self-esteem off the table. And we're kind of all equally up or down on the self-esteem. And when you're in your adolescent years, we're kind of all down on the self-esteem because we're changing so fast. We have a lot of self-doubt. And it's kind of our ugliest phase. I mean, ask any adult to show you their middle school picture. They're like, no thanks. Um, so maybe we're all equally in adolescence on the lower end, whereas when we get to kind of university and above, we're on the higher end. I also see in developed societies like Colegio Nueva Granada, I see males wanting equality as much as females. If you think about your fathers, they wanted just as much as your mothers for you to have a great education and send you to this school. You look at your teachers. Your male teachers want you just as much into the math and science as the arts and music as they want for both genders. And you look at your classmates. You're the boys in class. Don't go to an all-boys school. They go to a co-ed school. They like having girls in class, for whatever reason. <laughs> It's a good thing. They like to show up to class because you're there. All right? So I see in developed areas the men taking part in it too. So what I was feeling like, I was feeling if you're in a developed area like Colegio de Granada, and there feels like there's a lot of equality, is there kind of still that missing piece? And so I guess the way I perceive it Males also have doubts about their bodies. But I feel like a, a male will be like, okay, I could lose a few pounds, or he go to the gym and put on muscle, and that's like this little part of my personality. But I'm also great at this, and I'm smart at this, and I love doing these things. And I perceive women being more like, okay, I'm great at this, I'm really smart at this, I love doing this, and then you take it all away and you come down to my core. And I'm like, and I don't like the way I look. And I feel like that kind of carries in the center. And I worry that that's what holds us down. And then I'm worried that we then tear each other females down because of that. And this is what I feel. That, okay, see the number one? I just lost my audience. <laughs> okay, boys are mean too. Boys are mean too. But girls are mean in this like psychological warfare kind of thing. Like I feel like when a, when a guy is a jerk, like a mean jerk, the guy's like, hey, I'm a jerk, what? And so you can decide if you want to take it or leave it. It's kind of all up front there. But some of the meanest girls are like the teacher's favorites because they know how to talk to adults. They're like popular and they're even your friend because they know how to put on this surface thing, but behind your back, they're like tearing you down. I just feel like that's a gender difference. And I don't know, maybe you don't feel that. I did, and I do. Um, so I feel like together, it's kind of like, I see males using competition as a way to motivate them to be better. So if a guy is like, okay, that dude's my boss, or that guy is the starting player on our team, what can I do to get better so that I'm the boss and that I am a starting player? And I worry that girls, and not all girls at all, and maybe not girls at our school, maybe elsewhere, that girls tend to use competition as a way to validate their fears. Like, hey, that girl's my boss, or that girl has the starting position, 
So how can I tear her down so that she doesn't have power over me? And that's what I worry about, and that's what I want to change. Um, and that's what I just want to look at today. So I, I don't want to sound like I'm a total bummer and downer on females. I love females. I love being female. I love myself. Some of my best friends are females. Okay, so <laughs> definitely not being a downer. Um, but what do I want to get out of this? And yes, that's me. Um, I'm not looking to be like a hero or a big changer, but I wanted to use this as a conversation starter and, and ask you guys to make some changes. The thing is, is that in adolescence, you guys are making neural pathways in your brains. You're making them right now, the ones that last and you're pruning away all the stuff you don't need. So don't, don't stay with that negative vibe. You can change it right now, and collectively, I believe as women, we rise up because of it. So I'm asking the boys and the males in the audience, continue to keep equality going as you're doing. Please remember that the word feminism means equality. It doesn't mean girls rule. So boys, don't be afraid to say you're a feminist. And girls, please remember, when you look in the mirror and you're kind of putting yourself down, and then you might then tear somebody else down, another female down, we just stay down here in second class. You know, like just kind of link arms together and rise up together. All right, thank you.